chilly, Willie. Coming to you from Minneapolis. We're on our way to, we can say it, this ain't dropping yet. We're going to interview Billy Guerin. Uh, absolute legends of the NHL, GM in the Minnesota Wild, mass hole as well. So we're looking forward to it. Got some great stuff coming. We'll check back later. So uh, some guy just came up to Wit like asking for money, and he's like, oh, I don't got any. And then Wit's like, You know what? I'm gonna make his day. <laughs> and he gave him a hundred bucks, and the guy's like, oh, Okay, thanks. And like completely fucking slumped. I don't know if you had to go around the block or what. Some guy was a little down in his luck. I gave him a hundred bucks. He goes, Thanks, dude. <laughs> Like he owed it to him. Like he owed it to him. How are we feeling, Merles? Ah, uh, great. Uh, it's, it's, it's for Billy well, G's. Holy you, shit! You invite me to an United NHL GM's Hall of Famer. like house. I'm not gonna show up like a bug, you know. I'm a minor leaguer. I'm gonna oh, dress, geez, right. dress like the pro. Good thing I got my Watson glove gear on. My this is a legit uh, commercial, right? Now. Do you only wear stuff that's free? The C hey, give him the CEO special. <laughs> no, dude, you have. You have the gloves, hat, and <laughs> yeah. are these warm though? Oh, he's got the I mean, glove these hat. Are, hey, it's you be guys think I'm kidding? Oh. Try them on. Try them on. By Watch the way, this, this guy. This guy. This. this. Guy's, this oh. We don't work with hey. people who don't put out good products. It doesn't fit. It fucking fits. Hey, you. listen. Man, here's here's the thing. The you. You, you know what they say about big hands. Yeah. You can brag about these, but how come you never sent any of us any of them? Did you bring no, some for Saturday? Saturday. Those are the prototypes. I had to go through them first. Oh, gloves is a classy look. So we were watching old clips of uh, Pittsburgh, Arizona. Hey, can I get my in, gloves in the, back? In the, in the Super Bowl, and Larry Fitzgerald, <laughs> touchdown catch, he had two of them, and then Santonio San Holmes catch one in the end zone. As the video is going, Ari is like, I'm 10 rows up, I'm 10 rows up. <laughs> Well, the camera didn't pan there for 10 minutes. He's been on his phone like this, and finally he just goes, Merles, look! It's got it. Got it. <laughs> That's right all right. There. Right there, the arrow, right there. That is it's all right. right. I can tell by the hat. Well, you yeah. see, it's, it's a Charles Santani sweatshirt when you see it on TV. Yeah, oh, right there. Oh, yeah, I see the joint. Right with the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keith Jones, the funniest thing personally he said in that interview was, uh, how he had a letter on his sweater and he knew he was getting traded. Oh, yeah. And, and dude, so true. dude, I got an A in Pittsburgh and I was like, what the fuck? Why am I the assistant captain and got traded like a month later? It's a 100% a thing. They want to show other teams like this guy's a leader when he's really not. Although Jonesy probably was. Yeah. Should we start caroling outside? Yeah, caroling. Because I was here in the. <laughs> you've, you've been here before? No, no. Oh. I was here in the water. Like he's like, me and Billy G? Yeah, yeah. You crazy? We go <laughs> way oh, back. Shit, you guys don't leave until 2 in the morning. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it his Wednesday night uh, dinner session? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, your fucking production crew. Hey, 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 for a fucking hour. Holy he's like, shit. Hey, you scrubs. <laughs> We're going to sing your Christmas carol. Huh? We're going to sing Do you know any? Good to see you, Billy. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Good to see you. How are you doing? We're going to sing for you. Hey, We're going right. to sing the dog days of Morton. Pleasure to meet you, bud. Thanks for having me. says hi. I was going to tell you the same thing. How are you doing? Good to see you, man. Stats on it. She made our phone covers for us. Look at the stats. Biz does not want his on it. Let's put those in the pocket. What the fuck is that? By the way, mine aren't exactly amazing either. I got the Wilkes Bear logo as Biz does. And I, just, and I just Back broke my roots. phone. Sanguine. Back to the roots, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You so much. <laughs> this is going right on. I actually don't have, I don't know if it's going to fit, Logie? but yeah, it does. Yeah. You're a legend. Thank you so much. Hey. Oh, it's so sleek. It's not like a box. The win. 481 games, 50 goals, a couple of them backdoor tap-ins from Sid. I'm not going to bring those up. 209 assists, 259 points. That's actually not too bad, I'm not going to lie. For a scrub. Where's, where's business? Where's business? Hey. I got a, uh, <laughs> this is business. Just pretend. Biz. Games played. 190. Healthy scratches. 400. Goals. Three. Assists. Two. Drinks after the game. 9,450. I saw a bit of your footage with uh, Stocky. Yeah, oh yeah, he's amazing. He's got oh. he's got the playoff goal on you. He's got yeah. a few more points in you. Was, he let Biz know that he had. I was telling Lexi and I were talking about it, so it's kind of like. Well, what do you got on me? Do you got, I mean, uh, you got training know. camp assaults yeah. uh, on, uh, on teammates? Uh, you got. <laughs> every year. Comes up every year. <laughs> We had uh, we had Ned Haven on. And he, I think oh he, yeah, Ned's that was his head. first NHL training camp. Yeah, and he goes, was I got Billy G. This this legend, this guy I grew up watching. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. Ned's awesome. He's great the best. Guy. 
So you Ned, were the kids were calling him Ned's head. He was over for dinner like <laughs> twice a week. He, said, yeah. he goes, he, him? he goes, he kept inviting me over. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll come. I go, he was probably one of those fake invites a little bit. <laughs> That's how I would play. <laughs> like this feels you know, comfortable on my helmet. Yeah, it's like, well, it's, it was the same padding. So you take it out of this, put it in the blue one, and then you're- The trainer's like, go. oh, it's the same padding, Billy. He's like, no, 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 no. this is my padding. Some of the other guys are like, yeah, we get new helmets every year. I'm like, you do? <laughs> I've had this thing for 20 years. Guys are getting new shin pads and stuff. I'm like, you were wearing no. the Eagle gloves? Not by the yeah. end, right? At oh, one yeah. point. When they came out, they were uh, so loose. I wore white Eagles. That was the last pair I wore too. My, I kept my- uh, my mouthpiece is still in it. That's it. I don't know. I'm goofy with shit. That's with all stuff like that. I love the helmet. Yeah, in Florida. The helmets is great having yeah. the helmets up. I know. That's you don't see that too often. That's a you cool touch. You wore that Reebok. I, I got a lot of them. Mm. Yeah. My my Russian one got repossessed. Now, guys, <laughs> that one, that's that's the only game. one I didn't Out, wear. Outdoor game in Buffalo. <laughs> I didn't play in that. That's the only one I didn't wear. I don't know how I ended up with that one. This was the one I wore. So that that was. That okay, was so then it would change colors. Yeah. And then they, I think they figured that out down the road on, on how to make it so it wouldn't, right? <laughs> no, because you look at these yeah. ones, and these ones look way more I, Well, I wasn't in St. Louis all that long, so it this didn't, is, it, didn't, hey, it goes on how much alcohol was drank during <laughs> which era. So this is what they'd be sweating out during games. And as obviously, you know, yeah. light, lighter beer came in. These, <laughs> these are the IPA years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you guys are playing hungover. Oh. So it was pretty funny. This was actually set up for wit. We're not here to do an interview. We're here to work on your short game wit. <laughs> well, I've seen some of your, I've seen your golf game on, <laughs> on social media. Putting's not my issue. Neither is teeing well, off or irons. Oh, this is short game. I actually was it's off. A little, I, thought, I thought this was a it's belly putter. It's a little putter. right to left. Is this, a, is this a, right. is this a, is this a belly putter? Like this. What if I did anything else? Look at this, money. This is the best game. Moment. That's clutch. Pretty good ability, no pressure. North, oh, I love the helmets. That's one one thing I was trying to do. I got a few in mine. Uh, I don't have that that that's many to keep, cool. but that's yeah. a it's a really cool memory. Oh, the really good one. Did you see the Utica Devils oh, jersey yeah. over oh, here? See, where's oh, that? Really, this is great. It's probably his, I think that's his first pro team. Really it's Utica out. Devils. That's <laughs> that's a team from the past. Well, it's a huge pleasure to welcome our next guest. He's been in the NHL in some capacity for about thirty years now. He spent 18 seasons with eight franchises, playing in over 1,400 regular season and playoff games. He won a Stanley Cup with the 95 Devils and one with the 09 Penguins, and he was elected to the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame in 2013. After retiring, he joined the Penguins' front office and added two more cups to his resume. And these days, he's the general manager of the Minnesota Wild. Thanks so much for having us at your beautiful home and for joining us on the Spit and Chicklets podcast, Billy Guerin. How's it going, my friend? It's going great. Thanks for uh, making the trip out here. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Suitcase. A long time coming. Suitcase. <laughs> Suitcase. Eight <laughs> teams. Like Brent Ashton Eight over there. Eight teams. He's got but helmets, jerseys everywhere. But they were all in everywhere. the NHL, Biz. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had more teams in a different league. <laughs> I think it's fucking oh, Tyler Kennedy. That's Tyler no, Kennedy. No, no, no. <laughs> Boys, what are, we, what are we looking at? We're looking at a, a book of the Penguin Stanley Cup celebration from when the year I got traded and then Billy Guerin got traded oh, there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kunitz again. Sure. It's, 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 Kunitz. it's the Kunitz Cup <laughs> celebration. The Mario Lemieux, Billy Guerin, Dan Bosma <laughs> trade Whitney celebration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, he takes the best spot. I know. Unbelievable. Just cash in. Yeah. 350. Keep the change. Uh, Jeff uh, Tafe. Oh, Tafer was there. I played with Tafer. Menard. Menard. Look at Menard. Look at uh, John Curry. The goalie. That's Lovejoy right there. That's Lovejoy. There's all right. Miroslav Satan. Remember Satan? He's got the monkey bum. <laughs> Get a close up with the monkey bum. Monkey bum. Biz, what do you got here? Fucking unreal. That's a thousand games right there. The silver stick. I get up that day. My wife, we have heavy as shit. He's got the gear in there, and then take a look at the end there. I was wide, wide up. I was like, 
It lists right, so all the teams, how he accomplished it, how many games he played hung over. More than a thousand. No, these are the new ones. No, they're not. No, these are the new ones. Those aren't the rings, dude. These are the new ones. That's a cock ring. That's what they're doing now. That's how business cock, that's business cock ring from getting traded from the Penguins. That's not my cock ring. Be a lot smaller than that. <laughs> be a pinky ring. How are you feeling this morning? What we great, doing? great night of sleep. Uh, heading up to the Wilds uh, practice facility. Big exciting day up there, and we're gonna get the inside scoops on on the, all the rosters and and the feel of the players for the for the action on Saturdays. So over under, see how the team's looking, see how their power play practices, all that kind of stuff. So some real inside tips for the EBR today. There he is. Ciao, Bob. How are we feeling? Phenomenal. Ready to just crush a day. That's kind of how I approach mornings when we're on these road trips. Crush every single day. It's not a bad way to go through life, Avery. Boys are on the sheet. Boys are buzzing. Yeah. It's time to bring on our next guest. This guy was a sixth round pick in the 2008 draft. He's already in his 12th season with the Minnesota Wild, his second as a captain. Uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to play in the Winter Classic due to injury, but he's with us right now. Thanks so much for joining us, Jared Spurgeon. How's it going, brother? It's good. Thanks for having me, guys. Good. How's that? How you feeling? I know it's an undisclosed injury, but how you feeling? Good. Getting there every day. Sort of frustrating time to be out, but with all the excitement and stuff like that. But uh, it's fun seeing the guys, the old old school look out there, so they're having fun with it. Well, this guy might be setting a record for the quickest time between appearances on the show. It's only been seven months, though. It feels like fucking seven years after this last year. He's in his fifth season with Minnesota with the resurgent Wild, and it's great to welcome him back to the show. Marcus Foligno, how's it going, man? Thanks for having me, guys. Check this, check this bump. You guys turned me into a goal scorer. I appreciate it. <laughs> what do you got, 13 right now on the year? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, 13. Yeah, actually, I'm shocked to look at other guys. I'm like, should I got more than this guy, more than this guy? Yeah. So Time to renegotiate. I'm, just, I'm hanging on to it right now. I think if I end up with 15, I'll be good. <laughs> All right, guys, Merle's here. We're going to do the, the post game interview. Uh, first up, you know, Wit's on record for calling the Wild boring for many years before yeah. this new new re like renaissance in the last couple of years. Did that have an effect on you wanting to do the interview? <laughs> no, never, yeah. I've only heard good things. True or false, as a youth hockey player, you used to leave your shin guards at home on days of power skating. Uh, that's 100% true. What's the card game of choice on the Wild plane? Uh, I think it's poker right now. I'm not, I'm not a card guy, so I'm more sitting back watching some movie so I'm not in the car game. All right, who's the worst juice boy player on the wild? Uh, might be me some days. Depends, <laughs> depends on the day of the week. If you could be a pro athlete any other sport, what would it be? Uh, tennis, for sure. And what's your favorite casino game? Uh, blackjack, that's me. And uh, one one more for the for the gamblers at home. We got the Winter Classic coming up. We're gonna do an anytime goal score. Yeah. Who would we pick? Uh, I think you gotta go with the thrill. Thrill the thrill, so go with that guy. Yeah, he's gonna have the Russian gas ready yeah. for, for the game Saturday. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. All right, we're here at Merle's post-game wrap-up here. Marcus Foligno, uh, you're born in Buffalo. Did you happen to be at the first Winter Classic that was played there? Uh, no, I wasn't. Yeah, I was, I was not there, but I uh, had some family that went there, and it was, it was awesome. I, myself, as a member of the Bills Mafia, are you still one? Yeah, yeah I am. I, as much as being in Vikings, uh, Bills, Bills Mafia will always be on my heart crashing right. tables. I looked up today's Barstool Sportsbook. They're plus 850 to win the Super oh, Bowl. I know. I think I, I, think I might have been on them. I, I have to. you got to go with Bills Mafia. So. I saw your plus 270 to score any time in a Winter <laughs> Classic. Should I be bet, put, betting the house on it? I, I, I think you should, absolutely. All right, I like that. Who's the worst juice? Boy player on the wild. Uh, <laughs> go with Nick Bustad, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, he's probably the worst. Uh, you told one casino story. What's your favorite casino game? Uh, I gotta go with uh, I love roulette. I don't know why. Yeah, roulette. But there's nothing better than being with the boys around the craps table. Last one. If the wild win on Saturday, will there be somebody jumping through and breaking a table like the Bills do? We can get that done. Yeah, I think that if if, if we set that, if we win, I'll, I'll break the table. All right. Thanks. <laughs>
Marcus Polino, thanks for, for coming to the Merle's wrap up post game. Thanks, Merle. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Fizz, how we do today at the rink? It was awesome. We got Felino again. He's a fucking riot. And then, of course, uh, the El Capitan. And then Billy G last night. Very successful trip so far. We got a couple alumni now coming at you, including Keith Ballard and Mark Perry. <laughs> what do you think, all right? Good stuff, man. Uh, Captain of the Wild, Jared Spurgeon. Unfortunately, he's not playing, but great interview with him and our, our pal Marcus Felino, Moose, as they call him. Uh, he's, he, every interview should be that easy. He makes it easy for us, makes us look good. And uh, now we're going, I think, eat a burger. There's a famous burger joint around here I keep hearing about. So uh, that, that's that for now. Do some axe throwing later. Where you from? Oh, yeah, axe throwing. Yeah, well, you, you know, athleticism, probably not one of my top 10 qualities. So I don't know how much you need to throw an axe. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it, but I don't know. I think I feel like I, feel like I should have a helmet on or something because it's going to gonna be pretty dangerous. And Mark Parrish, you excited to talk to him? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I was just prepping for his interview. He actually got, his rights got traded by Colorado for Tommy Fitz, GM in New Jersey, a little trivia there. But yeah, he, uh, he was, he bounced around a bit, had a few different spots. Plus, you know, I'm interested in talking about his, his struggles. He's been very open about talking with, and uh, I, I think a lot of people, you know, a lot, of, a lot of our listeners like to hear that stuff. Maybe they have similar issues, and it's nice to hear, uh, hear us talk about that stuff on occasion. It's serious, but it's important. So looking forward to that. What do you think that. of this wild practice facility? It's pretty sick, dude. I, I love it. You're just downtown building. You jump in an elevator. You pop out, and, and there's a fucking NHL team practicing all the fans here. Wish we got here earlier. It's, it's uh, definitely a cool vibe. Good stuff. Uh, before Chicklets, well, actually, simultaneously, I, I was uh, a public school custodian, Boston Public Schools, for, uh, I don't know, five, six years, maybe. Uh, and I realized how much they matter for schools. Like, you can throw away the principal, you need students, teachers, and custodians, and not just the schools, everywhere. Huge part of society, respect custodians, because they do the dirty work most people don't. But it makes me more appreciative to see it in a place like this. Biz, you ever do ax throwing? I have done it, yeah. I did it with Chikrin and, um, and I want to say Lost and Kraus for a content piece for the Coyotes. It was actually pretty decent at it, so. I don't know if it's going to be the same setup. I'm confident in my axe throwing abilities. I had elbow surgery. Yeah, still good. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mark Ryan, pleasure to meet you. Nice Thanks nice for having us, man. Looking forward Absolutely. to this. Absolutely. Something different. Thanks for coming. I've never heard this. Well, I'm Ryan. I got a whole five minutes on you. Oh, you never done it either? Yeah, oh, no. no. He's I was like, I was getting, I was getting, I wanted to come early, but then on the freaking traffic, I ran into two axes. Like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're coming to impress the hell out of him. Oh yeah, absolutely. I was like, I've been doing this my whole life. With this is no big deal. He's looking at me, like, it's like scoring so goals. Cool. 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 That's cool. awesome. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. No, yeah, it's good to be here. This is a great spot. Thank you. Hey, Mark. Matt Marley, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Are you ready for this? Yeah, we feeling going again. You know, I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little more anxious than I expected. I, I thought to be pretty laid back and relaxed, but then actually practicing, I got a little bit more nervous for some reason. Yeah. I might have to throw out the, I might pull out the underhand trick just to wild wit a little bit. You know, I gotta a little bit. He's in my town, the Boston yeah. boy. He's coming to the Midwest. I gotta impress him somehow. And it's certainly not gonna be my size or my hard shot that I had. He's seen all that stuff, so I'm gonna have to do it with the axe throw. Yeah, Biz is the only one who's ever said he's done it before. Oh, so, so the pressure's on Biz then. Yeah, because. So Biz, so biz is on my team. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes. You should pick him. You should pick I like him. it. I like it. I know Witt's got elbow surgery. So. You know, I kind of heard about that. He dropped a couple rounds in my book after yeah. that. That was... <laughs> He was, he was a high first rounder, and now I don't know, he might be like a fourth, fifth, take a stab in the sixth, maybe, yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's like plus 2,500 yeah. to win. Yeah. <laughs>
pump my tires. I've already done that enough today. Uh, it was a great day at Lumberjacks. We ended up coming a little bit outside of Minnesota. Uh, a great little talk with Mark Parrish. She set the whole thing up here at Lumberjacks. Thank you to the owner, Sarah. Very hospitable and uh, just an overall great day. So now we're going back to eat and then also do an interview with Keith Ballard. So it's been a busy day, uh, a lot of good stuff, and we are still a good 48 hours from Puck Drop. What's up? What's up, Ari? What's going on? It's a getting... nice hat. Oh, hey, you know, we're just down here investigating some malfeasance up in Brainerd, and uh, we ended up in Minneapolis at the Westin, and uh, now we're interviewing Keith Ballard, and uh, we'll get back to you with our report later. What's up? <laughs> How are you? Yes, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> you know what I just got off the phone with? Who? Donor. Oh, God. Teeing, teeing me up for no. fun. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Let's have some fun, baby. Well, our next guest is this local lad from Baudette. He was an 11th overall pick by the Buffalo Savers in the 0-2 draft. Then carved out a 600-plus game career as a stalwart defenseman for Phoenix, Florida, Vancouver, and, of course, here in Minnesota. Thanks a bunch for strolling over to see us. Keith Ballard, how you doing, my man? Love it. Thanks, guys, for having me. This is amazing. It's, uh, it's an honor. It's Did a long, long time coming, too. Did you say a Star Wars guy? I think he said yeah. a, st a stalwart. <laughs> oh. But he's been on the Star Wars kick. I oh, I <laughs> thought you meant he was a Star, Star Wars, Wars guy but, uh, because he took out the fucking lightsaber and took Volkun's head off. Oh. <laughs> That's why I thought. <laughs> we'll, we'll touch, thought we're we'll, already right into the away. Volkun's <laughs> right We'll touch on that later, but 100% no Star Wars guy. <laughs> All right, we got Merle's Men here. Post-game wrap-up with Bowles after the interview. Awesome interview. A couple quick questions. After the practice, Juice Boy or Rebound? Rebound, all day. Right. Sport you would play if you weren't a pro hockey player? Golf. The card, your favorite card game on the plane throughout the years? Seven up, seven down. Oh, that's a good one. Favorite casino game? Uh, roulette. Oh, I like that, all right. When you're drinking the Pink Whitney, take it as a shot or make a whole cocktail out Wait, of it? Wait, sorry, I'm gonna say craps. I'm gonna rewind. Oh, craps is my game, that's my craps. game, craps. yes. Craps, yes. roulette's kind of mindless. Yes, craps is the best game fun. going. It's best yep. game going, team game, everybody rides with yep. that. Uh, when you take your pink Whitney as a shot, or you make a cocktail out of it? Yes. <laughs> That's the best answer. And, and, then, and then your Minnesota huge game on Saturday. Give us an anytime goal score. Either team, Wild or Blues. Who's scoring? Who's Brandon Hartman. Hartman, I'll be good odds. He'll probably be like a plus 320. So. Yep. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Brandon Hartman, love it. Thanks for having me, buddy. Yep. Good to see you, former so, teammates. Yep. Nice little post game. You looking forward to today? I am. I'm very interested to see how ice fishing works. I've never been. I've actually never really even been fishing because I get seasick. <laughs> how about you, Mark? One time. Yeah. I went fishing one time in Alaska. It was on like a thing with my grandfather and my cousins. And in Skagway, Alaska, we went. I like drove the boat 90 minutes out. I immediately started throwing up, puking. We fished for four hours. I puked the whole time. Oh, God. Like just laying there, like just mm -hmm. green. Got off the boat, slept 24 hours. Oh my God. I was fucked. It's a nightmare. I have not been ice fishing in 12 years. I did it in Sweden. We did it as a team building activity. Ice fishing, grill hot dogs, couple beers, right before a uh, relegation doing? in Sweden. Before, oh really? Yeah, before a relegation as a team building. It was really good. We you, you guys still got out. relegated? That year, I think we stayed up. The next year, we got relegated because we didn't do it. Team bonding. Yeah. Holy Talk shit, up, guys! What's up, hey guys? Hey, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. I'm sorry, just you yeah. big time, dude. That's all right. All right. I came in for the hug. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah, good. good. You? I'm doing great. Awesome. I think I'm a little. I need a suit. I need you one. Look good. You look good. No, I came dressed. It ain't about looking good in this fucking sport.
puck marks on it. And didn't I didn't touch a soul. Let's go, so 